If you are facing difficulty to create this kind of design on a cylindrical form, then you should watch this tutorial. Here I am going to explain one trick to create the loop structure, which can solve this problem. If you didn't watch this video on a CG Voice YouTube channel, I have used that trick in that video to create this kind of design. So you can watch that video, links in the i button and the description box. First we are going to create that design on a simple plane, so it will be easier for us to understand. You need to add a plane and then go to the rate mode, add a loop cuts along the y axis and the x axis. I have added the 7 loop cuts at there. Then you need to select these faces and use the insert operation. Then use the insert operation one more time and then move these faces along the z axis in this way. And then use the insert operation one more time. Then you need to select these edge loops and then control B add a bevel on them. Add a 2 segment bevel and shape factor should be 1. Then add a sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Now I want to maintain the sharper corner form at there. So I can add this kind of loop cuts to maintain that form. But this is ok on a planar shape. And it will give you the weird sharper shading on a cylindrical form. So there is one trick which you should use. You need to add a center loop cut like this. Then dissolve these edges with the control X. Like this corner edges. And then you need to use the knife tool at there and create a cut like this. You need to create this kind of conical shape. Then you can select these edges and control X to dissolve them like this and you will get this kind of loop structure. Then similarly dissolve these edges with the control X. You will get this kind of loop structure which is going to hold the corner form. Then just take the symmetry at there. And now we will use the same technique on a cylindrical form. Then you need to add one cylinder with the 16 words and then scale down the cylinder along the z axis. Then select the top face and use the insert operation. Then add a center loop cut and add a bevel on it. Then give the proper bevel width, then select these faces and then use the insert operation. Then move these faces along the z axis. Then select these edges and add a bevel on them. Then select these edges and then control B add bevel on them. Add a 2 segment bevel like this, shape factor should be 1. Then you can add this kind of loop cuts to maintain the corner form. Then you can add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. And here you can see I am getting that pinching at there, sharper edge. And to avoid this edge, we can use that technique. Just go to the top view. Here you can add one loop cut like this. Then dissolve these edges with the control X. And then use the knife tool. And create a cut like this. Just redirect your edge loops in this way. Then you can dissolve these edges in this way. Now just take the symmetry. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize. And then you can dissolve this edge loop like this. And you can see we are getting this kind of loop structure at there. This is like interlocking loop structure which you can use in some cases to create this kind of design. And you can hold that topology at there at one position. Means that geometry which is not going to destroy your cylindrical form. You can see the wireframe at there. You need to maintain good space in between your edge loops, otherwise they will come together and create a weird effect, but that you need to keep in mind. And this trick is workable in some cases, so you can try this trick. So that's it for today, thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye, see so you next video, take care.